factoring the difference of two squares. Let's FOIL some things out and look at the answers. x plus 2 times x minus 2. First, x times x, x squared. Outside, x times negative 2, negative 2x. Inside, 2 times x, 2x. Last, 2 times negative 2, negative 4. Notice the outer and inner cancel. Negative 2x plus 2x is 0. FOIL the second problem, x minus 2 times x plus 2. First, x times x, x squared. Outside, x times 2, 2x. Inside, negative 2 times x, negative 2x. Last, negative 2 times 2, negative 4. The O and the I cancel, 2x minus 2x is 0, so we have x squared minus 4. Notice that these both came out the same. It does not matter if you have plus minus or minus plus, because it's the same problem just switched around. When you're multiplying, you can multiply in any order as long as the things are the same. These are called binomial difference of squares. You have two parts, subtraction, something times itself. You will break down each part into what times itself. Use plus minus for the signs. Factor for each example. Example 1, x squared minus 9. x squared is x times x. 9 is 3 times 3. You can either have plus 3 minus 3, or you can have minus plus. Either answer is correct. Example 2, x squared minus 100. You have to break it down into what times itself. x squared is x times x. 100 is 10 times 10. So you can have x plus 10, x minus 10, or x minus 10, x plus 10. Those are the same thing, because it's the same problem, just the order switched. Example 3, 4x squared minus 25. 4x squared is 2x times 2x. 25 is 5 times 5. It's got to be the something times itself. So you either have plus minus or minus plus. Example 4. 9x squared minus 16. 9x squared is 3x times 3x. 16 is 4 times 4. So you either have 3x plus 4, 3x minus 4, or 3x minus 4, 3x plus 4. Example 5, 3x, excuse me, 36x squared minus 49y squared. 36x squared is 6x times 6x. 49y squared is 7y times 7y. So you have 6x plus 7y, 6x minus 7y, or you can reverse it. Example 6, 25x squared minus 81y squared. 25x squared is 5x times 5x. 81y squared is 9y times 9y. So you either have plus minus or minus plus. Example 7, 9 minus 4x squared. 9 is 3 times 3. 4x squared is 2x times 2x. So you either have minus plus or plus minus. Either one of those answers is correct. Do not combine unlike terms. Don't try to subtract 3 minus 2x or add 3 plus 2x. Example 8, x squared plus 9. Let's FOIL some different things and see why they are not the answer. x plus 3 times x plus 3. x times x, x squared. x times 3, 3x. 3 times x, 3x. Last, 3 times 3 is 9. So we get x squared plus 6x plus 9. That's not correct. Let's try x plus 3x minus 3. x times x, x squared. x times negative 3, negative 3x. 3 times x, 3x. 3 times negative 3, negative 9. So that's not correct because it has minus 9. Okay, third one down, x minus 3x minus 3 x times x, x squared, x times minus 3, minus 3x. Inside, negative 3 times x, and last, negative 3 times negative 3 is plus 9.
Well, minus 3 minus 3 is minus 6, so that's not correct. What about x plus 1 times x plus 9? x times x. x squared, x times 1, 1x. 9 times x, 9x. 9 times 1 is 9. The 1x plus 9x equals 10x, so that's not correct either. You can see that none of those foil out to x squared plus 9. X squared plus 9 is prime. Prime means it's not factorable other than 1 times itself. If you have a binomial with sum of squares, sum of squares means addition. It is prime. This is different because it doesn't have subtraction in between the two things. If you have squares with pluses in your binomial, it is prime. Example 9. 4x squared plus 25. This is prime said it, since it is the sum of squares. Sum means addition. That's the end.